The stressful summer time has started. Been trying to get in a little work with the brush cutters at the same area I uh, s uh, tried going over last year. Plenty left to work do there. Uh, but have ordered some plants that will require work. It's a little hard getting to the area for brush cutting, so this video will mainly be about the excavator that uh, needed some work before uh, prepping it and that will be used to do a little work on the ground where we are going to plant new trees. Uh, my dad had tightened up a loose light and done some adjustments and since it was up there a lot of the threads are stripped so some of the holes that could be used were drilled up and threaded with a bigger size. Then over to the excavator that's leaking a little from two of the cylinders. The top one has actually been repacked in the past but uh, thought we had messed up something when we reinstalled things. And uh, this Yanmar Japanese or Korean machine, I'm not sure where it's from. It's uh, annoying because spare parts are stupidly expensive. Getting new seals, original seals for these machines, I can repack four cylinders, I would guess, on the forest machines compared to one here when you're looking at spare parts. So I had uh, tried uh, buying. Uh, seals and stuff from another source and that seems to have backfired more on that later in the video here I had a tool to undo the lock on top of the cylinder while it's loosened and tilted over and uh, we had put a little sealant liquid sealant I think on the threads so it was a little hard to get it all the way out then there is something smart that I'm not really sure if it has any effect. It's uh, I thought it was uh, a little bit of kind of dampening dampener uh, when you reach the far end of views. Uh, we had a little issue. The tool big enough. We had nothing to put on top of it, and the nut is on there, quite good. So uh, missed when we we actually cut it, so we could get the. Uh, pipe on top of it and I started removing things and I think I'm missing a bushing here maybe someone has been wrenching with this one in the past so and the outermost dust seal is held in place with a lock ring and then a blind bearing puller could be used to pull that out and you could clearly feel damage to the actual seal itself uh, since I had purchased the original kit I replaced the o-rings also even I don't think they were at fault uh, I also cleaned up the threads I'm gonna skip liquid sealant this time around and make it easier to bring apart in the future because it looks like I will but I had to get it up and running and here is the old seal and or the new seal that was installed but I had the, the old pieces uh, still in a box so they were looked at and on the new seal it's as if the support rings have melted I think something has been plenty hot there and I think that seal is too tight for this application or something so that it has caused excessive heat uh, did try install with just uh, first the old seal and it was super easy and then the new seal and uh, uh, I get uh, it plenty more resistance moving it up and down with the new seal so since, since it has to get up and running pretty much the day we were branching with it and I'm still behind on everything so I decided to use the old seal even if it might cause some internal leaks so I did the same also with the guide rings to ensure none of the guide rings caused any excessive drag but I didn't suspect them so well the lid at least I'm uh, taking some pictures of the new seals going in place the bushing in the back could be used to start getting the dust seal in place and then I cut the old one, it's just nothing wrong with it I think, but I needed something to be able to get it all the way seated to the point that the lock ring could be reinstalled, so... 
and I didn't have anything else suitable so and then in the back and here I think there is a bushing missing uh, but so the, uh, the piston rod probably has a lot more uh, wear on the seal itself than it should if it had a guide ring there that I think is missing so I will need to revisit this uh, cylinder in the near future again uh, the piston rod was put in place uh, uh, had the tractor for support and tightened up the nut and then the pieces for the dampener that I don't think it really has and there is nothing with that on the part manual I have for it and I can't really see how this would make a difference but it was uh, put back on there the way it was at least so the parts are there cleaned up the threads inside the tube also because they had gunk in them it will be easier to break it apart at least next time that will be very soon I'm afraid uh, oiled everything up and the tube could be slid into place and uh, took a little maneuvering to have any, to everything line up and going in there smoothly but not too hard and uh, the lid was tightened up there is a like lock washer underneath it that you hammer into some cutouts so to ensure that th things can't come undone I put plugs on the hoses so that the tube wouldn't collapse it still kind of went down a little because of internal leaks of the air that's in it because it's uh, drained we didn't refill any oil loosen the plugs so it could be pulled out enough to install it and then it was just a matter of getting the pin in place and securing that pin so with it back up and running I went back and forth very slowly a bunch of times to purge any air out of the cylinder and my dad started lubing up the machine I purchased a new lid for the radiator also because I think it might have pushed a tiny bit of coolant out near the lid because it was like a little bit of coolant at the top of it uh, we needed to fill a tiny bit of oil it was refueled and uh, because of that uh, internal leak or I got worried that I had excessive buildup of heat in the hydraulic system I installed a uh, the meat thermometer uh, on the hydraulic oil tank to start uh, uh, recording the temperature on the oil in the machine and we will yeah. also go out a bunch of times and, and feel on the cylinders themselves if any one of them has any excessive heat here is a little hint of the homemade bucket for preparing the ground for plants so more on that later over and out